I'm really excited about today's video, the path to expediting your US citizenship, and this is gonna be super helpful for a lot of people. Hello again, I'm Andre Acosta, and most importantly, a recruiter for the California Air National Guard. If you have any questions directly about the California Air National Guard, feel free to reach out to me. You can text, call, phone number is 805-415-7269. I also wanna give a big thank you to Airman Vision, as usual for helping us out, putting this information out there and, and changing lives in that process. So today we're gonna to talk about the history of this process, three easy steps to the process, and I'm gonna share a success story. So first of all, with the history, this is an ever-changing process to help out enlistees get their citizenship expedited. It used to be that you would get your citizenship at basic training, right, that's outdated. Then another program came out to where you would serve for about a year, and then as long as you were on good terms, you could get your citizenship expedited, and that's also outdated. Currently, there is no longer a service minimum, so you can actually start this process to expedite your citizenship the day you enlist or thereafter throughout your enlistment. Now talking about the three easy steps to get this process going. First, the applicant has to already have their five or 10 year permanent resident status. So that means they have a five or 10 year green card already in their possession. And you do have to at least have three years left before the expiration of that, that green card. Second, you have to enlist in the Air National Guard. That means talking to a local recruiter, passing the ASVAB, passing the medical examination known as a a physical, selecting a job and enlisting, signing that contract to enlist in the Air National Guard and be on good terms, serving honorably, things like that, right? And third, most importantly, there's a form USCIS form 426. USCIS stands for United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. So this form is what actually allows all this to happen, right? And that gets signed by an 06. So an 06 is a rank Usually it's gonna be a colonel or a Navy captain who's in your chain of command. That means like one of your higher up bosses, right? And they're gonna sign saying that they authorize to proceed with this process and that this member, this enlistee is serving honorably without any issues, without any derogatory concerns, right? And they're gonna sign off on that and that's gonna fast track you to US citizenship. I'll share a brief success story I had a couple months ago. I had an applicant reach out to me uh, about this process and wanting to start it. They got qualified, scored really high on the ASVAB. He already had his bachelor's degree from his home country, not the US, but from his home country. He scored high on the ASVAB, like I said, went through the process. We actually got a colonel to host his enlistment to do the oath and actually sign the N426, that's the form I was talking about. And then as short as three months after that, he was able to get his citizenship. So it just took three months. It can be, you know, of course it can be faster, you know, it can be longer. It all kind of depends on the flow of the paperwork, but he got called in to do that in-person interview and the same day they gave him his citizenship. So I hope this information is, is helpful for anybody trying to expedite their citizenship and get the path going as fast as possible. And uh, if you have any questions specific to joining the California Air National Guard, feel free to reach me direct on my work cell. That's 805-415-7269. Y'all have a good one.